Hello once again everyone, it's Jello here and I will be showing you the five things that you might want to do with your new laptop or new gaming PC or a PC. I'm saying might because these things are optional and it's up to you if you want to do them. So let's get to it. So the first thing that you can do is to update Windows. So if you've recently bought a laptop or a pre-built gaming PC, the Windows that came with it may not have been updated. So it is best to check for updates just to make sure that we have the latest version of Windows 10 running. The second thing that we can do is to optimize Windows. This step may be long, so please bear with me. Windows 10 can be heavy on resources, so what we can do is to disable Windows animations. This can help make Windows a little snappier. We can do this by going to the advanced system settings and uncheck some of the animations. is we go to startup and recovery then click on settings and uncheck time to display a list of operating systems unless we have two operating systems we leave this option unchecked next is we go to the privacy settings and turn off the app permissions that we don't want windows to have access to you may want to leave the camera and microphone on if you're using skype or messenger or any communication tool the most important option to look for is the background apps. There are things here that are pretty useless and you may want to turn them off. We go to system and select power and sleep and go to additional power settings and usually when you're on a laptop you'll only see one option which is balance but when you're on desktop you'll see three balanced power saver and high performance but since we don't have one we create a power plan and here you can see three and select high performance and rename to whatever you like. Here are the settings of the plan. You can customize it however you like. And then you press create. Go to change plan settings, change advanced power settings, and under turn off hard disk after, just change the values to zero. Next is we go to gaming and disable the game bar. For captures and broadcasting, I turn these off because I use a different software for both. For game mode, if you're gaming, just leave it on and if not, just turn it off. we go to apps and here you can see a lot of pre-installed apps from Windows. There are some apps that you cannot remove but remove the ones that you can if you're not using them. The third thing that we can do is to run a program called PC Decrapifier. Just download the free version. What this does is that it allows you to choose what pre-installed apps that you want to remove that came with your laptop or PC all at the same time. This is very useful when you want to remove unwanted third-party applications like Cyberlink Media or an antivirus that eats up a lot of your machine's resources or any app that slows down your laptop or your PC. The fourth thing that you can do is to go to ninite.com or ninite or however you want to pronounce it. What this does is that it allows you to download the most common applications that you're most likely going to use. So you can choose whatever app you like and once you're done, it will download all of it for you in a single installation. The 
fifth thing that we can do is to disable startup programs and non-Microsoft services. To disable startup programs, hit Control shift escape all at the same time. This will bring out the task manager. Go to startup and select those that you don't want to run when you first turn on your computer. Hit the window key and R at the same time. This will bring out run and type in msconfig and press enter. Under the general tab, select selective startup. Then go to services tab at the bottom left corner, check hide all Microsoft services and select the services that you don't want to run. That is it for today and I hope this video has helped you in some way. And again, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.